Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This is Dr. Stefan. I'm going to just discuss about alcohol and inhalers in this video because I did receive a question on the channel. Well, not this, well, I'll show you that in a second, but basically this is the comment. Hi doctor, can one have alcohol if you are on Symbicort? Symbicort is this inhaler right here. And basically I think the question is whether, is there any interaction between the medication in the inhaler and uh, maybe potentially drinking something every now and then for a party or for you know people who want to drink a bit more is that uh, a problem is that going to affect the way asthma is controlled for example if you are on an inhaler and i think that's a really important question and it does deserve a nuanced answer and i'm going to try and provide that basically first of all inhalers such as this one such as other inhalers they're generally very very safe medications and what i mean by that is that when you're taking an inhaler, you're only taking a very, very small dose of medication that is administered directly into your lungs. Most of that medication actually does not get absorbed into the rest of the body because the dose is so low and it's administered exactly where you need it, in the airways. Now, that being said, probably there's not a lot of interaction between alcohol and the inhaler in terms of the pharmacology of the medication and the alcohol. However, that being said, if you are thinking of someone who has maybe very poorly controlled asthma, probably going um, on a binge and drinking a lot, a lot, a lot may actually cause some problems related to asthma control for a number of reasons. You know, you may uh, end up in the situation where you forget about the inhaler, you don't take your medication properly, or you end up in a situation where you get exposed to some allergen that triggers your asthma, or you end up smoking with your friends uh, when you're out drinking or you inhale some smoke and that triggers your asthma so you need to take a lot of things into account now obviously as a doctor i will always advocate a healthy lifestyle as much as possible but i do understand that people want to socialize they want to and that's part of mostly western culture you know when you socialize you do go out for a drink and it's something we need to just understand and work with is just how it is um, not a great idea to just go on big binges but i suppose if you have a drink every now and then it's probably not going to hurt uh, your asthma or your copd that much it probably won't interact very much with the inhaler however I'm not your doctor, so I don't know your specific situation. It's very important that you maybe ask your doctor in your situation whether there's any other medication that you're taking potentially that could be influenced by the alcohol because perhaps you're on some tablets as well. So with the inhaler itself, I don't think there's a lot of interaction for that specific thing, alcohol inhaler. However, every person is different. Every person may be on different treatments. Every person may have different sensitivities when it comes to um, these sorts of combinations. So I think it's just important to use your own common sense as much as possible. And I hope this was helpful and just a little, little conversation about alcohol and inhaler use. See you in future videos. If you've got further questions, do leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Thank you very much for watching.